All right, so the McRib was a viewer's request to give this thing a try. This no thrills, no frills, no fluff. I'm just here to do the review. That's all I'm going to do. This is what we're dealing with today, guys. Just like the old fat man in the red suit, this thing seems to pop back up year after year. It was either 80, 1980 or 81 when this thing first came out. And I believe I tried it in like 84. So like right before they took it off the menu the first time. So it's been a while trying it for the first time in quite some time. All right. Pickle. Sliced slivered onions. Boneless pork patty. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? <laughs> Boneless pork patty. All right, let's get a bite. All right, this thing has always been like one of those love it or hate it kind of uh, sandwiches. I don't know if I love it or hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So I guess it's not one of those love it or hate it. I know it has a huge following and then it has also the, the reverse um, group of people that think it's just extremely disgusting. So cult following for and against. It's not their regular barbecue sauce that they're using. It's more, it has like more of a smoky flavor, not quite as sweet as like the, um, the honey barbecue that they, that they have as the dipping sauce. No bones, no bones about it. It keeps trying to slide out the bottom, like the meat's trying to get away. It's, it's like the meat is trying to run all right, let me try to get one more bite while this thing is completely together. All right, so the McRib from McDonald's, which I don't need to say from McDonald's because everybody already knows the McRib is from McDonald's. Anyway, uh, it's been a long time, like I said, it's been a long time since I've tried that. I'm, I was a kid when I tried it, I didn't like it. Uh, I would say this time, um, I'm just neutral with it. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the big fuss is as far as bringing it back on a regular basis, but I guess some people that really, really love the McRib, the meat wasn't, uh, like it wasn't what I thought it would be. I was expecting the meat to be like really, really spongy and it wasn't. So, uh, I was kind of expecting something that you would find out of a, like a vending machine. Uh, that's, kind of the texture I was expecting that's not the case it actually kind of has <laughs> the the texture of real meat I, this isn't something I would say I recommend or don't recommend you probably already know if you like it you've probably tried it before I just like like I said at the beginning I, I just came to do this review at a viewer's request Jim Rockford asked me if I was going to try the McRib since it just came back out and I'm like, hey, it's been a long time since I tried it. So I gave it a try again. The The long bun was soft. Um, the barbecue sauce was good. It had that good smoky flavor, not too sweet. Uh, just uh, a, a good, similar to Cattleman's like barbecue sauce. So, uh, so that was good. Get a good crunch from the onions. Uh, a little bit of acidity from the pickles on a scale of one to 10, I would say, I would say for me, this is like a 7.1. Um, if that's what was for dinner, I would eat it and, and be okay. Uh, and if I never had one again, I would, I would be fine with that. Anyway, that is my view of the McRib from McDonald's and with that, I say good day. Oh,